Hi everyone. Yeah. Um, things have been going all over the place. Um, it hasn't been. It hasn't been a good day today. For the past few days, it's been absolutely, totally chucking it down. Went to. Um, Where did we go? Tesco. It's getting a bit uh, desperate up there. And I've been hearing that as the shop workers are thinking of go out, going on strike. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. Alfie was here all night last night till this morning. Yeah, getting a bit, getting a bit fussy. Oh, notifications are now coming in, and uh, yeah, very soon the UK is going to get quite a lot of people coming here. Coming from the U coming from Ukraine. There are quite a lot of Ukrainians here. And uh, we'll see what happens. The way I look at it I think uh, Putin is a basket case and uh, yeah and if you can folks you know get it together hello come on pellet <laughs> Brought the piano out. <laughs> just I was just showing it on the news. Someone brought the piano out, trying to light lighten the mood of what's going on. I don't know what's happening with Windows Update of of late, but I tried update doing a windows update it did it brought an update up but then it then disappeared so I'm just waiting now to see what happens see if the update reappears again and uh, yeah
how much fucking we leave. I'm not supporting that this year. Fuck that. It's not a fucking proper charity comment really. Sorry, but it's time that I personally think it's about um, that the BBC started self funding. Yeah. And, it, and the other thing is, I don't believe in the, in the license fee. You know, I think the BBC should take ads like every, every you know, if ITV can do it. Like anybody else, you know. We'll soon find out if he turns up tonight. Uh, well, it's a wait and see situation. Yeah, on to better news. The Trinity Islands. They they have started on the foundation on the foundations for those. Um and uh, the council, Manchester City Council has said yeah to the the new projects. Like I said before, and they're not going to be the only uh, project. There are more to come. And the number of projects that are going to be there are going to be extremely big ones but to be truthful um, to be truthful Blackburn is either going to see any money and the way that Blackburn is behaving, I am sorry to say, and you know, I'm not impressed at all. You know, um, they were talking about moving Morrison's across onto the brewery site you know the company wasn't told but the way things are going 
Um, yeah, well, never mind. Um, because what is happening now? People are shopping online and that does make a difference. Poundland um, has basically turned round and is going to start doing um, home delivery. You, it's going to be like, you know, so you can order your food like Asda and the other uh, and other um, outlets. So you'll be able to go to poundshop.com and order your groceries. So there you go folks but back to the other thing to be truthful I'm glad that South End on Sea got it I bet uh, I bet Blackburn's crying in its porridge now So, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So, so the city of South End on Sea. Yeah, Prince Charles. Make the announcement. Because I must admit, Blackburn doesn't deserve it. And really, if I was Boris Johnson, I was Boris Johnson to be truthful because the way in a lot of cases Blackburn treats their citizenship you know I think it should lose some of its funding That's how I feel about it because a lot of the planning proposals that they do put through, you know, you're meant to preserve, preserve your land, but Blackburn aren't. Um, everybody knows my opinion and if you want to preserve the green belt you have to use brown belt and in a lot of cases Blackburn with Darwin are not doing that um, yeah a lot of areas in Blackburn you know, they need, we need green space, we need green space, but the way things are going in this town, it's, uh, 
not a good not a good thing for the town so if I had the choice I'd move to Salford honestly I would because you know they're doing a lot of the councillors in Salford turned round and said this that and the other but Manchester City Council are I'm going to say it they're futuristic and the thing that Andy Burnham proposed this clean air zone well I'm sorry folks but I'm for it you know if those people you know um, taxi especially the taxi drivers I'm sorry guys uh, club together and buy an elect but start buying electric taxis but on the condition that the council put you put in charging air charging areas for you yeah do it that way because sooner or later you're gonna have to you know where things are going fuel's going up in price and the post office is post office is moving to electric vans and who else so our amazon amazon are encouraging their couriers to use electric vehicles so that uh, they're not uh, screwing up the environment yeah it's all about going all electric and I want like like sometimes when I do walk around Manchester and cars stuck uh, stuck stuck at traffic lights you know it can make the air around there a bit putrid and not so nice to inhale I, I you know I wouldn't like to be asthmatic jeez and uh, we'll just have to see how things go from there the oh, this is Ukraine stuff been blown to blown to crap yeah yeah so you know it's just one of those things isn't it showing a lot of the I don't know if they're Ukrainian or Russian but uh, back to what I was saying you're going to have to go electric either way and uh, yeah it's just the way it goes I'm afraid the push to electric is you know going to happen you know and if you can't afford an electric vehicle especially this is a special message to taxi drivers club together and buy one and take turns at driving it 
because you know it's the only way to do it so you know the red the thought I've just been looking at the thought getting the forecast it's not looking good it's basically going to start chucking it down and uh, well also what I am going to tell people to do go to the go to shops like Aldi and Lidl or B&M or Pound Land Pound Shop dot com and uh, order all your stuff and uh, basically hit it hard and uh, It'll be just one of those things. Mm. So we'll see how it goes. Sorry, our meeting at the moment. But uh, I just hope everybody's okay. A big massive shout out to all the usual suspects. You know who you are. And uh, I'm looking forward to all the videos that you lot are put, going to put out. And... Uh, big massive massive uh thank you for the the footage that you do they know who they are and uh yeah i'm going to book her off now and push this video up i don't know i think this phone's wrong because uh, did I do two days without a video? We'll see what happens. So I'll push this video up to all very soon. So I'm going to bugger off. So from May three, two, one, click.